Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share with you guys on what it's like for me to live with or face autism on a regular basis or a daily basis. And a second thing that I do is I uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. And a third thing that I do with my blog since they are becoming an autism resource is I give tips to individuals on the spectrum, I mean the autism spectrum, and to their friends and their families and their peers and their mentors and to their teachers, um, both in general and special education, to employers and job coaches and to uh, places like job agencies and to anyone in our community, whether they care about autism or not. And a final area that I also do is uh, cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this video blog, what I am going to do is give my two cents on what I had just read about autism in the media. And I'm first of all going to call this blog a shame on you Applebee's. And I will tell you why. So I have always loved the restaurant and I have always thought that their Fiesta Lime Chicken was to die for. So it makes me very sad that I have to boycott this place because um, the story will make your blood boil, it'll make you cry, it'll make you angry, and it'll make you want to stand up for what's right. So it was around the, the end of last year or late August of 2014 that a young man with autism had gone through a job coach and he had gotten hired at an Applebee's and they were also uh, going to pay him for some, for some job training and his father had even filled out that paperwork so that he could get paid. Well, he went several weeks or a few months but without even receiving one dime and his father had gone in and confronted them about that and they lied to him and they said that they lost the paperwork. So he went and filled out, uh, or he started over on filling out another W-2 or whatever it was, like an I-9 W-2, whatever. And again, he did not get paid for an entire year. So his father starting, or he started calling the headquarters and he uh, contacted the major news channels in uh, the city of Darts or Portsmouth. I don't remember the state, but I know the city was called Portsmouth. And uh, this uh, situation ended up getting some attention. And they finally said that, okay, he's happy there. He uh, works tirelessly. But they seem to ignore him the rest of the time. And I just have a few things to say about that. So first of all, that is discrimination. Applebee's. What in the heck is wrong with you? Okay. You agreed to hire somebody with a disability. You agreed to follow the labor laws and the Americans with Disabilities Act, which you did not. You discriminated against this young man, and it's obviously that you didn't want somebody with autism or any form of a um, learning difference or somebody that sees the world differently than you do at your place of employment and at your store because it would be too embarrassing for you in front of the customers or whatever. So you retaliated against this young man and his family by hinting that um, we're not going to pay you. You can work here as long as you want. We're not going to pay you and we're going to make you guys so mad that you guys pull out of here. And uh, again, that's really bad. And then this reminds me of another story that I had heard from a former coworker that had worked at a warehouse with me for about eight years. And he was on another work program through uh, Papa John's. And they didn't uh, really do much with him. I mean, all he did was put together pizza boxes. And it's to, my, to the best of my knowledge, or according to my former coworker, that they, that they um, refused to issue him a uniform or a shirt to wear to work. And he had asked about it several times, and uh, they had uh, told him the same story, that they had lost his uniform. So he had to wear his own clothes to uh, the pizza place. And this kind of stuff is unethical, 
and it is absolutely not acceptable. So, anyway, it's to the best of my knowledge here that this young man is finally going to get paid for all of his hard work. And I really hope that they give him a year's supply of money that they had robbed him of for the past year. And I hope that uh, the father takes uh, these people to court for doing something so unethical because that's very serious and it's a form of discrimination. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments about what you had just heard, I would love to speak with you. And also, do not forget to share this on Twitter and on YouTube. And do not forget to share this with your place of employment and with your employers and your special education, uh, not special education, but with your job coaches and with the advocacy groups. Because again, what they did to this young man and his family was unacceptable. So until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer.